Modern tetrapods utilize lungs to breathe oxygen from the air uh, while on land. These lungs, however, had evolved in Sarcopterygian fish prior to the evolution of the first tetrapods. In the same way, the internal narus, the opening uh, for the posterior nostril, which is actually inside the roof of the mouth rather than exteriorly on the face, this had also evolved in Sarcopterygian fish. So many of the respiratory adaptations which would allow tetrapods to live on land had actually evolved in the ancestors of tetrapods, Sarcopterygian fish. There is no fish alive today which has a skull which is overly similar to any amphibian alive today. So thus trying to compare say a bass or a frog or a marlin and a salamander uh, seems ridiculous. Simply the skulls are not homologous. That being said, in the Devonian there were Sarcopterygian fish whose skulls were more similar to the early amphibians than they are to any fish alive today. And the skulls of the first amphibians were more similar to the Sarcopterygian fish than they are to any amphibian alive today. Throughout the Devonian, Sarcopterygian fish had modified their skull until the point where it was essentially identical to that of the early amphibians. No new skull bones would need to be added. In fact, the major adaptations to convert this fish skull into that of the tetrapods was to lose bones which connected the shoulder to the skull and losing bones which support the internal gill. The Sarcopterygian fish even evolved changes in the uh, orbital region and the otic region of the ear, uh, which prepared them for sensory se uh, systems on land. Most of the adaptations of the tetrapod skull for the tetrapods of the late Devonian had evolved in their fish ancestors uh, earlier in the Devonian. Homologous bones exist in the limbs of the early tetrapods and the fins of advanced Sarcopterygian fish. Both uh, these early amphibians and their Sarcopterygian relatives possessed a humerus, radius, ulna, and carpal bones in uh, their upper element, the arm or the pectoral fin, and both possessed a femur, tibia, fibula, and tarsal bones in uh, the pelvic fin slash leg element. So the bones which were required for the amphibian limbs had evolved prior uh, to the first tetrapods in the fins of Sarcopterygian fish.